the Nevada desert, home to one of the world's most mysterious and secretive places. Area 51, also known as Dreamland or Groom Lake, is a military air force base just 80 miles northwest of Las Vegas. For many years, the US government even denied its existence. Many unidentified flying objects have been seen over the area. However, there has never been conclusive proof that these UFOs are indeed from another world, or that the US government has been reverse engineering captured alien technology. In almost all cases, videos and photographs claiming to be of alien spacecraft lack in any quality and authenticity. Even the Roswell UFO incident in 1947, where it is claimed that a flying saucer crashed, is inconclusive. There is proof, however, that the US government is researching and testing highly classified aircraft, some of which are capable of maneuvers that are impossible to achieve with even the most sophisticated fighter jets. So, are we alone? Or are there really other life forms out there? You decide. Just off Highway 375, also known as the Extraterrestrial Highway, sits a small isolated diner in the town of Rachel, the Little Ailey Inn. For years, a favorite resting place for visitors to Area 51, just 40 miles away. As the highway heads northwest through Tickaboo Valley, it meets Mailbox Road, marked by a single postal drop known as the Black Mailbox. Filmmaker Adrian Muster. I'm at the infamous Black Mailbox on Highway 375 just near Area 51 in Nevada and it's uh, an iconic landmark for many people who come uh, along this highway to hopefully get a chance to see something flying in the sky. Although now white in colour, this unassuming landmark is still commonly used as a sacred gathering place for UFO enthusiasts the world over. It is here that many have witnessed strange lights in the skies over Area 51. Groom Lake Road, the front gate to the notoriously secretive Area 51. This dirt access road leads to the restricted lands surrounding the area. 13 miles of special grade gravel that creates a dust cloud visible to the border security known as Camo Dudes. There are also hidden cameras along the cactus and even ground sensors along the road that can detect when vehicles pass. the front gates to Area 51. Anyone passing these signs risks a heavy fine and up to six months in jail. Under state law, the camo dudes also have authorization to use lethal force if deemed necessary. In fact, just standing at the sign for any length of time is enough to arouse suspicion from the camo dudes, who are watching your every move and will use intimidation tactics if you stay in the area for too long. Filmmaker Adrian Muster. I'm just walking down Campfire Hill 
I was uh, just standing at the top and the uh, camo dudes that were on top of the hill by the gates have just actually come down, they're coming over this way I think with their scope spotted me at the top of the hill I think they're going to come and try and intimidate me Keep this running It's a similar story at the back gates. Even though these buildings appear unmanned, security cameras watch your every move. At 20 past four, an unmarked white bus leaves Area 51 through the front gates. It carries workers from the base to a small rest area at the beginning of Highway 375. Here, the workers park their cars and choose the bus to travel to and from the base. So, with all the secrecy, what really is going on at Area 51? Is the US government really experimenting with alien technology? We may never know. <laughs>